Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, this is your boy DJ Troy aka DJ Extraordinaire. As usual, I would just like to take a quick second to shout out to all of my folks, you know, in Malaysia, all my people that's uh, doing business in Afghanistan, all my people that's working hard in Bangladesh, all of my fans that's doing it big in London, all of my fans even in the Ukraine. Too many of you guys to know, too many of you guys to send us shout outs to, but I would just like to give my regards. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your love and all the messages and the comments that you put under my videos. It's much appreciated. So, today is my birthday and um, I would be focusing more on the international sphere, you know, the international world, you know, things that's going on on an international scale. First up, I'm going to be talking about Trinidad and Tobago. We all know that Trinidad Carnival is going gonna, gonna to be happening in March 2014. I think it's March 2nd and March 3rd. And I have also spoke about it. I beg of all my fans in the Caribbean, all over the world that's going to be visiting Trinidad, please be careful. Um, the violence has not slow down part of it is gang killing part of it is you know personal beef a huge part of it is domestic violence um, which I think the media isn't reporting that a lot of you know a huge part of the killers is domestic violence so you know some of it might you know some of it might be personal killings and but a huge part of it is domestic violence but what you need to do for all my folks who are traveling is to please be very careful take your personal safety very serious whatever it is that you don't need to walk with don't walk with um, just you know just be very careful um, it's something that I've spoke about in other videos It's something that I'm very concerned about mm -hmm. and um, you know I take I take a very strong concern to that, to my fans and my uh, my old YouTube community family safety, as they enjoy themselves at Carnival 2014. And I think I'm going to talk about it again because it's a problem that's not going anywhere and is something that needs to be discussed. So please be very careful. Now we're moving on to the beautiful nation of Guyana my hometown my country um, what can I say the pr the big problem that's happening in Guyana right now is of course the fact that the country is going through a lot of economical turmoil now I'm trying to figure out what is it that can be done about Guyana? What is it that needs to be done? And it's a big problem. It's a huge problem because remember this is Guyana's I forgot how our whole is the independence, but Guyana is not hasn't been that independent. I think it has it, I know it hasn't been a hundred years since Guyana's been um in hasn't been independent. So it's a lot of work that needs to be done for Guyana. Um, to all my Guyanese citizens who's wa who are watching this video, whatever it is that you could do to help Guyana, whatever it is, whether it might be donating, you know, hospital goods, donated, you know, supplies to schools, whatever little that you can do for Guyana, please do. I'll do my part and um, as a community whether you might be we have citizens in London we have citizens all over the world whatever it might be 
please do your best to help Guyana. Another country that's on my mind is Haiti. Oh boy! Um, again, you gonna scratch your head. You wanna, you wanna, you don't know where to start because Haiti itself, it's a huge, huge, huge problem. Again, economical crisis. Many of Haiti's citizens are leaving the country, uh, heading for different places: America, Jamaica, ev anywhere, wherever it might be, to get a better life. Again, to the people who are in charge of these countries, if you see my video, um, please do the best that you can. I know that the president and the social workers and the ministers and everyone is doing their best, but the problem is so vast that what can you say? What can be done? I know that a lot of, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where folks are very concerned about what happened to the millions or even billions of dollars that was given to Haiti and I have even heard people said that if even a percentage of what was reported had actually gotten to Haiti it would have been enough to transform the entire country it's like not even all of the money, just a percentage. If it had been, if it had was gone to each citizen in Haiti, it was going to completely transform the nation. So, the, the coffers that has all the money, please help Haiti. Another country that is um, near and dear to my heart. I'll, I'll, you know, I, I, w I would, I would, I must say that I, you know, I have a great concern for all international, for all countries. You know, it's just I just talk about the few or the few that I'm allotted to because you know I have a certain amount of time. I try to not get my audience too bored or get too bored with whatever I'm saying. Um, but I have a concern for all countries so I know I have a lot of international fans and you know you want me to talk about your country and your homeland and eventually I'll, prob I'll probably get to your country but um, another country that I would like to talk about is Jamaica now Jamaica 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 the beautiful Jamaica Jamaica as its own share of problems too, whether it might be economical, whether it might be the issue of crime and violence, whether it might be the issue of drug runnings and you know, all countries face their own problems. So nobody's on the blacklist or anything like that. All countries have its issues. But again, you know, for the people who are in power <coughs> Please do your best to take care of the less fortunate. You know, on my birthday today, um, my goal is not necessarily to pick on anybody. My goal is just to say, if you're in these countries, whatever little you could do to make the lives of the citizens that live there better, do it. Every little counts. Please do your best for the Caribbean, all the islands, whether it might be Barbados, Grenada, you know, Bermuda, Haiti, Cuba, whatever you could do for the, for the Caribbean, please do it. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. For all my uh, New York City viewers, I know that you're dealing with the polar vertex the snow has come down briskly and it's gonna come down even more I think we're supposed to get an inch and a half or 60 inches of snow whatever it might be <laughs> just be careful and have a wonderful day and take my message seriously whatever little you could do for your country 
whether you might be in the Caribbean, whether you might be in the United States of America, whether you might be in the Middle East, whether you might be, you know, in Russia, Prussia, um, Malaysia, India, Pakistan. You know, there are people suffering all over the world, all over the world. I think we, in in based on I think the world. I think the World Bank, we probably have like over 200 plus countries. Wherever you are, do your very best for your fellow humans. Be humane, you know, be caring, be loving to, the, to your family, be loving to the people around you. Because these people around you are our future. Because there's going to come a point in time when me myself I'm not going to be able to do what I could do for my society no more and it's my society is going to be based on the legacy that I left based on the legacy that you know the people who are in power leaves you know so it's a very cyclical thing so when you go to bed thinking okay whatever I do doesn't matter in reality it really does because your children are the ones that's going to be controlling the world 50 30 years from now i'm going to be a whole old man there's no way i'm going to be doing whatever i'm doing right now 50 50 60 years from now you know i just wouldn't probably wouldn't be as physically strong to do it if god blessed me with you know if god blessed me with great health then yes i might be able to do a little bit but a younger man who is 25 is going to be able to run up and down. What can a 70-year-old do? You know, so do your best for your fellow man because whatever you do affects you not only now but also in the future. So with that said, everyone have a blessed day on January 21st, 2014. And continue to share my videos sharing the love one to one to one to another peace